Hey, this is Justin from Gold Penguin, and today I'm going to be doing some really cool things with Dolly 2. Going to be kind of creating new pictures from pictures with a process called outpainting. Outpainting basically takes an image that you have, let's say we're going to take this, this car, this house, and it's going to let you add frames to it, kind of like you're building, you're filling in a puzzle, is, is the way that I kind of describe it, with whatever you want to do. Um, and, and Dolly's going to kind of fill in the rest of it. You just kind of decide what you want it to look like. So in a way, it's like you could use Dolly to create um, when you type in a prompt in Dolly and it'll create an image. It's kind of like you're creating parts of an image because you're already supplying the picture that you're going to use. So we're going to test this out on two different images. I have a few, um, few thoughts on what I want both of them to look like. And yeah, we'll hop into Dolly and get started. So when you upload an image into Dolly, you're going to select it. You're still going to have to crop it. So crop it wherever you want and we're gonna hit edit image. Inside here, we have a new, newer um, editor. If you have been using Dolly for a little bit, you could tell this looks different. Um, you can still erase part of the picture if you want to. Um, I'm going to undo that. Um, but what we're gonna do today is add a generation frame. So this is called outpainting, and so we could do some really cool things with it. So I'm gonna extend this. Uh, we could do by, let's do it like this much. So in here, I'm gonna say a sand castle on the beach. Um, Ooh, we could get real creative with it. Let's say a sandcastle on the beach modeling the White House. Okay, so it takes a few seconds to generate, but once you get it, you're going to get four different pictures, which is what Dolly gives you if you just type in a normal prompt. And you can sort through these, and you can see... <laughs> this one's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know what White House this is. This is... Um, I, I'd say that that's kind of funny, but um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we'll accept this one. And so now once you're done with that, we can zoom out and you can see the picture is now completely different or not, not completely different, um, completely like resized. So now we could go down, we can go up, we could really do whatever we want. So this picture, I, I don't really know what else we can add into this frame, but I'm going to add something. Um, let, let's kind of do something up here. So this one, we can say something like a rocket um getting launched across the sky um let's see into space i guess i have noticed that when you type in something and you don't have it clip to the picture before even if it's a few pixels it just creates the new picture like you were to type it into dolly so i'm going to redo this and move the frame a little bit lower and there you have it just like this you can see it is well that looks like more of a missile as opposed to a rocket but uh, there you go. <laughs> so it looks really childish, but you could really play around with it and you get to decide, you know, what, what you want to do. There you go. This, this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool missile going into the sky. And so it models off of what the original picture looked like, which is honestly the coolest thing ever because you get to mix the best of both worlds with Dolly, which is A, generating a picture from nothing, which is what it's doing here, and then also editing pictures um, like in painting. So in painting is if I were to erase this, a little portion of this, I can add something to a picture but you kind of get to do both of that because you get to create your own picture. So I'm going to add one more frame here and then we'll move on to the next picture. And this one, um, we'll do something creative. Boom, just like that. A ladder coming down from heaven made out of sparkling material. So uh, yeah, it's kind of up to Dolly's, in uh, Dolly's interpretation of what we want it to look like, but I think this is pretty cool. I'd say this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing to make. So I'm going to accept this. Um, just note that when you are using this, each generation takes a, a prompt away from your credits or takes a, a credit away. Um, so if you are trying to make a big picture, it's still going to cost you like it would be to generate individual pictures. But I still think it's a pretty good deal because now you get to create things directly on top of your pictures. But yeah, so once this picture is done, you can go ahead and save it. And just like that, we have our original picture right here. The created picture here, which still looks extremely well designed. The second one up here, which is the little rocket going into space, and then the ladder coming down from heaven. All is one picture, looking beautiful, and honestly, looking a bit realistic. I, I kind of feel like this looks more realistic. It's got the shadow with like the sun angle that's shooting down in this direction. It's really amazing, but yeah, let's move on to another picture. So for our second picture, we're going to take a little bit different of an approach. So we've got this really interesting picture. Um, and I'm going to try to change the theme completely. And so when I say this, it's something like just turning it into something new, like adding a, a squirrel running across the street or just adding things that don't really look like they'd be part of this and kind of seeing what it does. So you could see Dolly kind of interpolate and, and kind of merge the two subjects together, whatever you decide to do. So let's think of something cool. So this one's slightly interesting. We have a volcanic crack in the middle of the road spewing lava everywhere, which 
didn't really seem to do besides, uh, I guess this one, you, you have the crack, but um, now let's get a little more crazy. Okay, we added Curious George running down the street with a banana. Um, take it as you will, but again, moving into a random direction from this completely real picture into something completely not real. And so to end off the art piece, we decided to add a really tiny car full of police, uh, full of police officers, which didn't really listen to properly, but I think it's funny enough, so I'm just going to keep it here. So we're going to accept that, and you can pan around the post like this, and you can kind of see... Again, you, we turned something real into something completely fake. Um, it generated a house that's, I wouldn't say in the same style, but it has some of the same color schemes. Uh, you can see kind of that green got carried over. Um, keeps the sky-ish in a similar vibe. Takes the trees here and keeps that same kind of um, feeling to go with it. But again, you can really take this wherever you want. So outpainting is really amazing. I'm going to link an article in the description with a lot more examples and things that you can do with it. But thanks for watching and be sure to check this new feature out in Dolly.